We are starting off with Michelle Schneider, Director of Trading and Education at the Market Gauge Group. Happy to have you here, Mish. Eyes are still very much on Russia. How much is the situation rattling the stock market? Certainly, the oil market is trying to stabilize. Well, absolutely. Not so much because of the headlines that came out of Russia over the weekend, but really more because it's part and parcel of an underpinning of social unrest and potential issues geopolitically that we have in many different places. And anybody who thought that Putin was just going to go away, uh, what we really see now is that he still yields a lot of power. So I guess the question really is going to be, what does he do? You know, when you're backed against a corner, generally, just as a human being, right, it's fight or flight. So <clears throat> the idea of him exiling, well, obviously, he exiled uh, the Wagner guy. So that's uh, one thing. But in terms of actual fighting, um, I think it's just another pocket that we have to watch out for. To me, the bigger concern is the implications on top of all the other implications for inflation, food prices, energy prices, and then higher rates that have come out of England and potentially the higher rates that we may get here in the U.S. You have to say, at what point does that sort of just feeling of revolt start to spread into a domino effect? And to me, that's the bigger thing if you step back than this specific story of Russia. Are you in the camp of the bull market believers? Well, I never really thought bull market. I thought more stagflation and a market that was going to find a trading range. And so even though the S&P got through a certain area, people were looking at 420 and it got to 440 or in change. It's those small caps we got to keep watching, Ange, because they did not get through into an expansion. We have GDP this week. We have a lot of big numbers coming out. It went down IWM to test a major support where it broke out of at 180. So now we have to really watch there to see, I think, what the next moves of the overall market are going to be. What's your trade of the day, Miss? Well, you know, I, one thing that's really been underperforming, I like to look at things that are underperforming and have good base and good technical support. And that would be actually two things. Number one would be just the whole energy space. So we have our eyes on XLE because it has great support, just a couple of dollars lower from where it's currently trading and looks very bottoming-ish. And of course, it would certainly be in line with anything, uh, other pockets of disruption that come out of Russia. And the other is more in the biotech space. Tiva Pharmaceuticals was one we, we caught a big move. We got out. And now it's sitting right at that base at around 750 level again. And I think if we can get a close back over eight, we might see another run there. Um, it's an Israeli pharmaceutical company. And with drug shortages that we've been hearing about, it's possible that that stock could uh, be heading back to uh, higher levels. Very good. Thank you so much, Mish. Thank you, Angela.